Hey, what's going on Ecom Dominators? Cynthia here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a quick review of the Merch Informer software. And if you're gonna be doing anything in the print on demand business, this is a must have tool. So in today's review, we're gonna be diving in to um, some of the features that Merch Informer has. So the first one is product research. Um, if you're doing anything with POD, we know that this is one of the most important part is doing the research, seeing what is out there. Um, the next thing we're gonna look into is automation and how you can use Use Merch Informer with many different platforms like Etsy, Amazon, Shopify. Um, the next thing that they have is keyword research. You know, it's really important that we hone in on um, our title and description. It's good if we have a good design, but it's another thing to also optimize our keywords so people can actually search for our product. Now, the next thing that they also have is a built-in designer, which I think is such a genius idea. Um, we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to actually use their designer inside Merch Informer. Now the next thing they also have is trademark protection. So say you want to use a certain phrase or a quote for your t-shirt but you're not sure if it's trademark or copyright. Um, they also have a built-in tool for you guys to um, copy and paste it to double check. Also last but not least, Merch Informer will also include some of the private training so you can apply some of their methods and strategies to your own business. Um, so we're going to be going over all of this in today's video. Also, if you are new to my channel, hey, what's up? My name is Cynthia, and I teach everything related to print on demand, e commerce, drop shipping, how to make money online. So, if you're interested in learning more, don't forget to like this video and stay subscribed to my channel for more content just like this. Alrighty, guys, let's get into it. So, in order to get started with Merch Informer, you'll first need to come on over to merch.tbootcamp.com. You will then need to click register for a free trial. So after that, they'll bring you to this page where you can enter in your name, your email, you then enter in your password, and then you can go ahead and click next to claim your free trial with Merch Informer. Now, once you log into Merch Informer, they will have tons of videos that will teach you how to use their platform. But in today's video, we're going to be going over a quick review. But again, you can come on down here and they will have an extensive videos on how you can actually use their software. Um, you can also register for some of the webinars that is coming up. They also include some of the graphics that you can use for your design. So as you can see here, you can click here and download some of them. They they even have a uh, Merch Informer Chrome extension. You can install this one as well. Um, also, the Merch Designer included, which we'll be going over um, at the end of this video. So the first thing that I want to go over is called Product Search. This is one of my favorite tools inside Merch Informer because we can enter in our keywords, um, our marketplace, so our location. Um, so if I come over here, I can actually select the location. I actually just start with the US and if I need to scale out, I can then look at other data. And then I can select categories. So they have tons of category. They have Merch by Amazon on long sleeve um, hoodies, v-necks, pop sockets, things like that. But usually I like to stick with merch by Amazon shirts. So I'm going to go in and type in my niche. So say for example, I don't know, I'm in the dog niche and then I can type in, let's say dog dad and I'm going to click search. So right now Merch Informer just pulled all of their data from Merch by Amazon and as you can see over here they've gave us some data. Um, so we can actually see the average BSR which stands for best sellers rating. We can see the lowest price for the t-shirt, the highest price, average price and also the type of category which is Merch by Amazon. So if I come down here let's take a look at this first t-shirt right over here. Um, we can take a look at the design. Another thing I like to take a look at is the key words that this person used to rank on Amazon. So as you can see, they wrote vintage, best dad ever, American flag, Father's Day gift. So they added uh, lots of long tail keywords to rank for certain uh, keywords on Amazon, which is amazing. We can actually add this to our keywords when we are listing our own designs. What we also get is look at the number of reviews that this t-shirt has. So quite a bit, which we can automatically tell that this is can potentially be a good seller. Um, another thing is we can check out how much they're actually charging on Amazon. 
things like that, and some of their description. Another thing what you can do is you can click on this I icon up here and they will give you more information regarding this t-shirt so if you look up here they will separate it out by sales rank which is highlighted in purple and by price which is highlighted in turquoise so as you can see for the price it's pretty much a plateau because there was no change in price they did not increase or decrease the price they kept it the same however with the sales rank you can see how it fluctuates uh, throughout each of the months and you want to see you know whether or not it is going up or is it going down so um, they give you tons and tons of data to work with so the next tool I want to talk about is called Merch Hunter and I like this tool a lot. So basically what you do is you can actually search by top sellers. So you can search by top 100, top 400, 500, whatever you want. And then you can select the marketplace, um, the location that you want to enter in and category. So pretty much all the same. You can also adjust everything based on BSR. Um, so these are the top uh, sellers over here and as you go down are people who just aren't selling a lot so over here for the keywords you can enter in your niche keyword if you want to totally optional um, however I'm just going to leave it blank and because I want to show you that even if you don't enter in a keyword you'll be able to see some of the top sellers on Amazon so over here um, automatically they're going to give you some designs that are doing very very well so as we can see with this one, this one has um, 31 ratings, over 100 ratings, and we'll get to see what price they are listing it at. Again, this has over 100 ratings right over here. So we get to look at the designs, what they're doing, things like that. And also take a look at what are their titles for their words. And again, if you click on the eye icon, you'll be able to see more information regarding this particular t-shirt. So as you can see, it's been doing pretty well. Um, with their sales rank. I can probably take a look at one more. So let's take a look at this one right over here. All right, so as you can see, they have a huge jump right over here and they came back down. So tons of data that you can look at um, for under Merch Hunter. Again, you can also enter in your keyword, but if you don't want to and you just wanna see the best seller, you can leave it blank and then click search. And another thing what you can do is say you are in a specific niche and you're doing some design research. What you can do is you can actually um, add some of these t-shirts to your favorites so you can actually reference it later on down the road. Maybe you want to look back at the design or maybe you want to look back at the keywords uh, that they use for their title so you can actually mimic some of the words that they're using. Whatever it is, you can actually go ahead and add it to your favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and select favorites and I'm going to add this to my favorites. Say I want to um, save this so I can reference later on. I can go ahead and add it to my favorites as well. So you can actually add as many as you want. All of these will be saved under the favorites tab right over here. So if I come back to the favorites, I'll be able to see all of the t-shirts that we just saved. So I'm gonna click favorites and boom, these are the two t-shirts that we just saved um, when we were doing our research. So the next tool that I wanna talk about is called the competition checker. And I like this tool a lot because it can really help you decide whether or not it's worth it for you to enter into a new niche or it can help you do more research on the current niche that you're actually in. So let me show you an example. Um, so I can actually type in my keyword in here. So I can say for an example, um, I wanna get inside of the unicorn niche. I can type in my niche right in here and Merchant Former will give me some data. So now they're gonna give you some data regarding that niche. So they're gonna give you total products currently within the unicorn niche and if you scroll down here they're going to give you some of the best sellers currently on amazon so they're going to give you um, their titles um, you can see how many ratings they had for each of the t-shirts um, also some of their pricing how much they price each of the t-shirts things like that um, you'll also get to see some of the features descriptions all of that good stuff so it's a really great idea to kind of see what's out there and is it a niche that you should invest in so the next thing that i want to talk about is called the keyword finder so 
as I mentioned before, really it's not enough to have a good design. If you can't enter in the right keywords, no one can actually search for your specific product. So this is actually a great tool to use in terms of finding the right keywords to plug in. Um, so what you can do is you can type in your niche right over here. So say for example, I am in the yoga niche. I'm gonna type in yoga and I wanna see some of the data. Um, so keep in mind for these keyword phrase search, it's based on Google search and not Amazon. However, you're still going to get a very accurate um, data, even based off of Google. Another thing you're going to look at is uh, cost per click, CPC, and competition. Now, um, a lot of people are saying, you know, Cynthia, should I go for keywords to have high competition? Um, you know, it's still, you know, there's a reason why certain things have a high CPC and um, a high competition rate because those keywords makes money and it's profitable. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. I do actually recommend that you split test, you know, high and low competition keywords. Um, so what I like to do is when I am researching certain keywords that I want to include in my listing, I would literally go through this list and kind of take note which of the keywords that I want to use for my listing. So say for an example, let's go in here. Um, the first thing I see is yoga jacket. Um, I don't think I want that. But over here I see yoga gifts for yoga instructor. I think it's a really good um, keyword. So what I would do is I will pull up and I'm just going to type in some of the keywords that I actually want to include because sometimes people might search for yoga gifts. Sometimes people might search for yoga pants, things like that. So I want to have all these keywords written down so that I could produce uh, products in with those keywords or I can apply them to the products that I currently have in my store. So over here, I'm just going to keep on looking. You know, they have yoga necklace. I can actually add that in. So I can type in, you know, no yoga necklace. It's a good product. Yoga Caprice is a good one. Now, this is another one here. It says yoga outfits. I think this one is a pretty popular term. As we can see, it has high competition, but I don't want that to, um, you know, have people not include it just because it's high competition. A lot of people do search for yoga outfits a lot of times, so you definitely want to have that in your keywords. I'm type in yoga outfits, and then I'm going to keep on searching beginner yoga. Um, it's a good one, but it's probably not um, for clothing. Yeah, family yoga, yoga women, which is a good one. So I'm going to type in yoga women. You know, this can be part of my title. I can say, you know, women leggings for yoga or something like that. So I think it's a good one to also include. And I'm going to keep on scrolling. Okay, there's one here for yoga gear. I like that a lot. Sometimes people are searching for yoga gear. Now, sometimes it may not be for clothing. It could be for other equipment like a yoga mat or something like that. So I'm going to keep on looking. So yoga legging, that's definitely a good one to keep. Legging. Uh, there's a tote. So I can just say you know, yoga tote. Now, I do see sloth yoga right over here. Now, it does have a high competition, but I've been seeing it. I think it's very popular. So I can type in sloth yoga. You can actually create a design with sloths doing yoga. Apparently, a lot of people like that design. Um, let's take a look at what they have. You can do a yoga sock and uh, come on here and do a yoga sock if I wanted to. Yoga mat is what I also see. And then I can keep on scrolling through, but, oh, okay. So there's another one, yoga clothing, okay. So a lot of these I can actually string together as one um, big keyword. Um, and these are the things that people are actually looking for. So you can keep on scrolling, but you guys get the point. You basically want to... Um, list out all of the keywords that you find here that other people are searching for and then you want to add that to your um, designs or maybe add it to your descriptions or titles things like that. so the next thing i want to go over is called the listing optimizer i love this one so much because it literally helps you make sure that your 
headlines and your description is fully optimized for search. And let me show you how amazing this tool is and how you can apply it for your business. So say for an example, let me come back to Amazon and I'm going to type in cat t-shirt. So I'm going to find a t-shirt over here. So let's just say I'm going to go with this one. So say for example, this is my t-shirt. Okay. Um, so what I can do is I'm going to scroll down over here and I'm going to find the ASIN number, which is right over here. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and copy it and then I'm going to come back here and paste it in. Um, I'm going to leave the marketplace on inside the U S and I can type in keywords. So I can type in something like cat and then I can click search. So what this does is it will make sure that my um, listing is optimized fully for when people are searching. So if I come down over here, let me just move myself right up here. The, they're going to say like, okay, so I want to know, does the keyword cat come up in the title, which says, yeah, it does have in title. So the check mark, does it come up in the brand? Uh, does it match the features? Yes. Um, however, we're only optimized as 75%. So what happens here is they're saying that we lack the match in the description and also a description over a thousand characters. So if I look back inside of the listing over here, um, if I come under, uh, let's see, the description over here, this only talks about the t-shirt, but it doesn't say anything about the quote or does it have the keyword cat so none of these are in here so we might want to add in maybe a small description about um you know the exact quote or what this t-shirt is about um etc so um it's a really great tool which it can help you optimize also they notice that your description um is not over a thousand characters so you know with your description you want to give as much information as possible so for you know merch informer they're saying that this description for this t-shirt is too short so we definitely want to expand on it a little bit more maybe give people a little bit more information about this t-shirt the design um, what kind of color schemes things like that so a really great tool to use again all you have to do is um, enter in your ASIN number, enter in the keyword that you want to optimize for, and they will um, let you know what you're missing. Also, another tool underneath listing optimizer is Synonym Suggest. I really like this tool is because sometimes when we want to add in certain keywords, but we can't find other names that we want to optimize it for. Yes, a lot of people do search for dogs, but there's also a lot of people that also search for I don't know, domestic dog. Um, they could search for things like wiener dogs, I don't know, hot dog dogs, um, sausage dogs, you know. There are other um, words like canine and things like that. So we definitely want to rank for all of those keywords. So this is such a great tool to find other similar keywords inside of your niche. So let me do a quick example. Let's just say I want to do cat. I can simply do a quick search for cats and see different synonyms that comes up. So over here, I can uh, find, you know, things like feline. Um, let's see if there's anything like, I don't know, maybe you want to add in big cat, things like that. So just come on here, take a look at what they will suggest inside the synonym. So another tool that I want to talk about is if you look under trademarks, you'll see trademark alerts. And what you can do is you can actually insert whatever phrase, keywords, or quotes that you want to use for your t-shirts, enter it in inside Merch Informer. And what they'll do is that they will let you know if it's safe or not to use on a t-shirt. Um, now, oftentimes it's so easy for some people to actually use a quote and not even know that they are infringing on someone else's trademark or copy or whatever so it's a good idea to actually paste in your quote in here first uh, make sure that it's okay to use before you actually use it for your uh, t-shirt so I'm gonna use this as an example there's a website called 21 threads I really do like this website and they have a lot of great um, t-shirts over here so I can actually pick you know some of the t-shirts just to make sure that no one has trademarked it or anything like that so over here, I actually like this one over here. It's a pretty interesting uh, word. It's called quarantini. I think it's a great word. However, I don't know if this word is um, 
tray mark. So what I can do is I can come back over here, type it in, Quarantini, I believe that's how you spell it. And then I can click save. And what this does is they will uh, check whether or not this certain keyword is safe to use. So I can literally type, click, um, check trademark. And actually, sometimes you won't see it. You'll have to wait for a few minutes before it actually updates. Some of the keywords I put in is Funkle. I've seen a lot of people use this exact phrase. Um, this one, Namaste, uh, six feet away. I thought it was very interesting. Also, this one says social distancing before it was cool. So things that I can actually uh, want to put on a t-shirt, I can just enter it in here. Make sure that it's not um, claimed by somebody else. Now, another thing that I also recommend that you guys do is Go under details. They're going to give you more information regarding that specific keyword. Now, I was very weary with this specific keyword called Funkel because a lot of people have um, attempted to apply for the trademark. Um, however, you know, as you can see that there are currently no actual trademark on this exact phrase because it's either you know it says failure to respond or late response or whatever so as you can see nothing is being trademarked over here now let's take a look at merch tracker right over here and i do love this tool now for merch tracker it will help you track each and every single one of your listings um and so let me show you an example so say for example this is my t-shirt i'm going to come down here and i'm going to copy the asin number come back here paste in my asin number and then i'm gonna click go so after that, they will pull your listing and they'll drop it right in here inside Merch Informer. So everyone's saying, well, Cynthia, how does this actually help me track my um, t-shirts? So over here, what they have is if you look under keywords, you can actually type in your keyword and you can keep track on where you actually rank currently with Amazon. So, you know, I see what some people do. They actually go on Amazon and they, they attempt to type in every single one of their keywords for every single one of their t-shirts to see where they actually rank. You don't have to do any of those work. It's too tedious. What you can do is keep track on all of your products on Merch Informer by entering the keywords here and they will let you know every single day where you rank. So you don't actually have to keep checking it up. So say for an example, uh, I want to rank for something like cat t-shirt. I can click save. And then say for an example, I want to rank for um, whatever is on my shirt, which says, um, let's say, plans with my cat. Okay, say I want to rank for this exact phrase. I can click save. So what happens here is they're going to save all of your keywords right over here. And because it's not tracked yet, you can go ahead and click on it. And they will show you your current ranking on Amazon. So once it is done loading, as you can see, for this first keyword for cat t-shirt is now ranking number two, which is very, very good. And also plans with my cat is ranking number one. So you can actually come on Merch Informer under Merch Tracker and you can look at all the keywords that you wanna track for every single t-shirt and look at where you rank. In that way, you know, you're not spending a ton of time going on Amazon, typing each and every single one of your keywords to see where you rank. You can save all of this inside Merch Informer. Pretty, pretty amazing stuff. Now, let's come under Merch Archive. And I love this tool a lot because, first off, number one, they're going to give you a calendar. And what you can do is you can actually select a certain day and actually see which are the best sellers for that specific day. So I'm actually going to come back over to maybe last year. And I want to see, you know, what's selling on, say, November 25th, which is about a month away to Christmas time. So I'm just going to click on 25th and I'm going to click search. Now once it loads, you can actually come down here and actually see what designs were actually selling well on that specific day. So as you can see, I see a lot of um, Thanksgiving designs, Christmas designs. Um, they're going to show you um, the BSR estimated number of sales right over here. Um, you can actually see more and more designs. Now some of these designs are actually uh, trademarked or copyrighted just like this one. So stay away from these um, and just look for simple designs that other people are doing. So over here, gobble to you wobble, tons of other Christmas designs that you can take a look at. So it's a really great tool that you can actually pick 
any day. You can go back here. Maybe you want to look at stuff for 4th of July. You can click on stuff in June. They'll probably show you some uh, t-shirts for that day. So the last thing I want to touch on before I go and talk about the merch designer is the merch calendar right over here. So if you click on it, what I like about Merch Informer is that they will give you this calendar showing you all of the holidays in the US, UK, Germany, and also some of the unofficial holidays. So what do I mean by unofficial holidays? They're basically days that... Um, not a lot of people know about it's a very minor holiday so as you can see over here what some of them says you know hug your cat day we have red rose day we have um, let's see camera day international joke day just so many uh, random unofficial holidays that you can actually pull inspiration from and create t-shirt designs based on upcoming holidays so if you're in the cat niche you can create a shirt just says celebrate hug your cat day okay so I'm gonna click next and of course every single month they will give you um, different things that's on the um, holidays and you can actually create designs before it actually comes so um, you know there's so many different ones over here it says gummy worm day workaholics day let's go here national cheesecake day just so many that you can actually come in here find ideas for now before I end my review, the last thing I want to go over is called the Merch Designer. I know I'm going to get tons and tons of questions regarding this, so I'm going to be going over a quick tutorial on how to actually use it. So once you come on here, they're going to give you a t-shirt where you can actually design um, certain designs on it and you can pick the t-shirt color, etc. But you can also select other products that you want to use, like hoodies, pop sockets, anything you want. So over here, what you can do is you can come under Clip Arts, and they're going to have tons of different, um, you know, uh, arts that you can actually add onto your T-shirt. So over here, I'm just going to find one that I want to include. So over here, I like this design over here. So say, for example, I'm in the horse niche. I can add this in the middle of the design. I can also add in text. So I can pick a text that says, you know, over here, and I can just drop it right over here at the top and let's see if I can pick the color let's just go with this one so I can say I don't know I love and then horses and then boom I have my first design that I just created in just a few seconds so after you are done, you can actually go ahead and download the design right over here. You click the download button, and then you can actually upload it onto Merch by Amazon. So over here is the download button. Now the next thing I want to show you is if you look under um, the other products, I can show you that you can also design a pop socket, which is another popular product that you can actually sell on Amazon. So let me show you a quick example. So if I look under images, I actually um, uploaded an image of a elephant. So you can actually pick any niche, uh, create a design and use it as a pop socket design. So I'm going to drag it right over here. Um, so what I can do is let me make myself smaller is make this design small just like this and then what it does is you can actually come under this icon over here which says patterns and then you can select different patterns that you want um, Merch Informer to make inside their designer platform so over here I'm gonna click vertical uh, repeat so it's gonna look like that and I'm, I can actually um, use this exact designs on my pop socket so over here I can click download so I'm gonna come on back to merch by Amazon and I'm gonna go ahead and add my products as you can see I can pick almost any kind of garments over here and over here they have pop sockets I'm gonna go ahead and upload my artwork so right now I can actually upload the design that I actually created using Merch Informer. And I can come down here and take a look at how the design looks like. So pattern designs for pop sockets work pretty well on Merch by Amazon. Um, after that, you can actually um, edit your pricing, things like that, and you can start uploading on 
Amazon to start selling. So that's it for today's video. Also, if you're interested in getting Merch Informer for your print on demand business, whether you're using Shopify or Merch by Amazon, you can go to merch.tbootcamp.com to register. Also, because you're part of the Ecom Dominators family, you can use code Ecom Dominators for 20% off your purchase. Also, if you love content just like this, don't forget to smash that like button and also stay subscribed to my channel for more content just like this. And until next time, I will see you in my next video, live free.